Good morning everyone and welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, March 8, 2024. I hope that you are doing well this morning. I hope that you had a good night's rest. And as you go through this day, I, I pray that the Holy Spirit will be with you. And may the Lord guide you and provide for you and your families today. Our reading today, it comes to us from Exodus chapter 1, reading verse 8 to 13. And it says, Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come now, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it came to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Therefore they set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasured cities, Pitom and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word. And as we read this morning, I pray that the Holy Spirit will give us understanding and clarity so that we can know what the Lord is trying to say to us by his word. Now, we know the story of Joseph very well, most of us, if not all of us. And here we understand that Joseph was living in Egypt with his family and the children of Israel, his people. And Joseph went down to Egypt as a slave and he went through a lot of suffering and difficulties while he was in Egypt but eventually the Lord blessed him and rose him up to power. So the Pharaoh promoted Joseph as keeper or governor over all Egypt. So Joseph was second in command to the Pharaoh. Very powerful man at the time. After that king came off the scene, a new king rose up that did not know Joseph. So this king was not familiar with Joseph or the children of Israel's God. And so he began to have a problem with the children of Israel. He thought the children of Israel was multiplying too greatly. And so he became paranoid or fearful that one day these people would have overthrown Egypt. Or if a war broke out between the Egyptian and some other nation that the children of Israel would have taken the enemy's side. And so he spoke to his advisors and they came up with a plan. And the plan was that they would make the children of Israel into slaves. And so they did that. They gave them taskmasters and he used them to build his cities and his treasuries and all of these things he used them so the children of Israel began to suffer during the reign of this king and they suffered and they suffered they work under extreme conditions and they were tortured they were beaten they were killed all because this Pharaoh was afraid fear crippled him to the point where he became a monster. Nevertheless, during this period, God was still with his people. So it doesn't matter if you are going through difficulties or you are going through your trials. Don't you ever forget that God is there. He promised us in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And so though the children of Israel were going through this period in their life, God was still with them because he already promised them that he would have been with them. So what lessons can we take away from this? One of the significant lessons that we can take from this is that things have a way of changing. One of the things that we must understand is that sometimes a change 
in power and leadership can affect us on a deep moral and spiritual level because sometimes shift in governments sometimes will have people within that government who don't share the same ideals as you do maybe these leaders they don't believe in god maybe they have no respect for christianity maybe don't maybe they don't believe in moral living and all of those things and so they will make decisions and laws that benefit them in one way or another and not so much that will benefit the people on a whole and so most times when laws and decisions are made some of the people who are most affected by these laws and rules are those who are serving the lord christians those who are following the thus say the lord and so these are things that we must keep in mind and always be prepared for but as scripture tell us that what god will always be there and he will keep you and i as he kept the children of israel when their government shifted or changed power you and i must be ready to work through these changes whatever steps we would have to take appropriate steps so that we can navigate these changes we need to prepare to do so and the same promise that god gave the children of israel he gave to us today that he what will never leave us nor forsake us and so sometimes you might find yourself excelling or you are being promoted maybe in your office or your company and then all of a sudden that promotion is taken away from you not because you don't deserve it but because there's someone who is trying to to cripple you and cripple your success these are things that will will and can happen from time to time but we must never forget god in this situation always be prepared for all of these things one of the constant of life is change and so you have to always be ready to go with the flow go with the flow in the sense that be ready to move through those changes if it is a good change be ready to welcome it and if it's a bad change know how to take the necessary steps to keep yourself secure and grounded don't believe that because you are being bullied by others or you are going through similar experiences like the children of israel that god somehow forget you no he hasn't just as he promised to take the children of israel to the promised land to a better place where they will not be treated the way they are being treated in egypt by this king the same way god will and can remove you out of your current situation whatever it is that you're experiencing and so be patient trust him don't focus too much on your problem but focus on god because your problem it won't last forever the children of israel they did not remain in egypt forever eventually the lord took them out and gave them peace from that experience and so in the same way god will give you peace from your current situation so continue to trust him and continue to look to him who is able to keep you god bless you and have a wonderful day amen